Hi, I'm Carl Kish, the Sustainability Director for Safari Surf School and Hotel Casa Tucan in beautiful Nassara, Costa Rica. And I'm coming to you today from our U.S. headquarters here in San Diego, California to talk about our idea for an innovative biodiesel production system that Ryan King and I would like to implement at the Hotel Casa Tucan at the end of January. Now there have been other models of biodiesel production, but none of them have been energy independent, carbon negative, and closed loop, zero waste from the whole production system. And we hope to create a successful model for this and share it with everyone, make it publicly available for free. Now I've been working on community development initiatives and surf tourism destinations for over a year. And when I came across the surf and yoga community of Nosara, I fell in love with the place. Ryan King is a college professor and a biologist and an expert in biodiesel production. And when I found his article about biodiesel production in Monte Verde, where he was able to supply an entire fleet of local school buses with biodiesel after collecting used cooking oil from local restaurants, I was inspired to create a similar system in Osara. Six months later, our idea has finally come to fruition, but we need your help to make it a reality. Now Ryan is going to go into more of these unique aspects of our biodiesel production system. Hi, I'm Ryan and we're here in Castle Rock, Colorado to have a look at one of our modified apple seed biodiesel processors. A lot of people have built apple seed style processors and worked with methanol and methoxide as reagents for producing biodiesel, but those traditionally require industrial processing. So what we're hoping to have funded is research using homemade ethanol, which can be fermented from compost fruits and vegetables, then distilled for proper biodiesel functioning. Essentially, we can design these systems so that they're entirely closed loop, so that they produce no waste. The wash water would be reused. The, the glycerin from the processing of the biodiesel would also be used to make soap. Also, it can be used to put on the dirt roads that are all over in Asara to keep dust down. Currently, they use molasses, which is uh, not ideal. It smells and when it rains and the last is washes away and it's very expensive. The next part of removing biodiesel production from the grid involves eliminating the power usage but still being able to heat the biodiesel and mix the biodiesel. You have to use traditionally an electric pump to pump and mix the biodiesel and cooking oil and all the chemicals to make it into fuel. We want to use something called a greaser cycle that is a bicycle without the wheels, just like a stationary bike, connected to the system and that can convert the oil. And that allows us to mix completely off-grid, so that eliminates the electrical pump and it also eliminates a lot of the problems that electrical pumps have, the potential to break down, create sparks, and potentially a fire. And the next step would be to connect the heating systems to a circulation unit that generates heat by producing biochar. So biochar is another project we've worked on previously, which is generally separated from biodiesel production. Biochar is the pyrolysis of biomass. So it's burning leaves, twigs, dried grass, so that generates heat and people have previously used that for stoves and cooking. We like the, to use the heat from biochar production to heat our biodiesel systems. This would create a system that's off-grid and has a net carbon negative overall footprint. Because every time you make a batch of biochar, not only are you generating that heat, but you're also creating a carbon negative soil amendment in that charcoal. The charcoal locks in the carbon, and it also provides a large range of benefits for nutrient cycling. Biochar has been found to be very beneficial for organic gardening and restoring degraded soils. The difficulty with the biochar systems and connecting these to biodiesel production is biochar uses flames. So designing a system that is safe and reliable and is able to transfer the heat from far enough away that the biochar system presents no fire hazards to biodiesel production will be an engineering experiment that we would like to undertake. So the funding we're seeking for this project will be invested in researching designs for the grease pump bicycle and the biochar heat transfer systems, as well as investigating the chemistry of ethanol fermentation, distillation, and purification for biodiesel production. Now, if 
you choose to support this project and you believe in what we're doing, we have some rewards for you. Please check out the perks that we have listed on the sidebar of this page. We have things ranging from a bar of soap from our first batch of biodiesel all the way up to a free week stay at the Casa Toucan with a bunch of activities lined up that are ecotourism based and also volunteerism based where you can help out with some other local projects that we believe in. Now we know not everyone can make a pledge, and that's fine. We hope that if you believe in this project, you'll share this video and this campaign with your friends and your family. Thank you for taking the time to check out our campaign video. We hope you'll take an interest in the project and believe in our passion for what we're trying to achieve. If you'd like to learn more, and check out the text below this video as it has more detailed information. We know that with your help, we can keep the Proto Vita spirit alive and well in Nosara. Thank you.